and welcome! In this video, you will learn several one finger chords. These are chords that only need one finger on the fretboard in order to make a full, beautiful sounding chord. Make sure that your ukulele is tuned and also make sure that the nails on your chord hand are really short. This is vital to getting a really good sound. Your homework for today will be to not only review this video, but also memorize these chords. And when you play them, make sure that you're not just like having the ukulele facing you this way. That's not good posture because that's going to bend your wrist, but that your ukulele is on your torso or even on your belly and that you're facing forward. That way you can learn how to play these chords without having to peek at your fretboard. I'm going to move closer to the camera so that you can see these a little better. We will begin with the most popular and famous ukulele chord and that is C chord. Put the thumb on the back, kind of relax. Your thumb is going to move around the neck, okay? So don't commit it to one spot. And I'm putting it kind of behind the second fret for now. So that would be an okay place. Try not to have it peek over. Try to bring it down, okay? Now you want to unfold your hand and use the ring finger on that third fret. For today, any chords that are on the first fret, we're going to play with the index finger. Chords on the second fret with the middle finger. And since this one is on the third fret, we're going to play it with our ring finger. Okay, so I'm going to put my ring finger on the string. And this is not enough, because if I pick now, it doesn't sound good. You have to press. And notice I'm not using this. This is not what I want. I want this. Look at the difference. Look, look, look. I do not want this. Please do not give me this. I don't want the nail popping out like that. I want you to think, I need to nail into the fretboard. And then using the thumb on the back for leverage, squeeze. Check that string only. And now using the side of your nail, fall down the fretboard. You should get a beautiful high sound there at the end because this is a high note. If you are right over your sound hole, this one doesn't have a sound hole, but if you were, you might be catching your finger and getting stuck. So bring your finger a little bit higher and then fall down. Okay, next we're going to learn C major seven. Use your middle finger, go to the second fret. Same thing, have the nail go into and squeeze. Try that. That's one of the chords we will use on Imagine later on in the series. I love how funky it sounds. Next we're learning C7. Index finger please. I know someone out there watching this has used their index finger for all three chords. Before you start that habit, stop it now, okay? Start with the ring finger, go to the middle finger, go to the index finger. Build the habit of moving the hand around and using different fingers. It will pay off later on. So go to C, C major seven, C seven. Let's learn another one. This one is tricky for beginners because we're going to go to the string that's closest to your face. And the reason that's tricky is that beginners will do this. Look up real quick. Beginners will do this. And they'll press it, but they'll also press other strings on the way there. And they get this sound. I can't tell you how many times I get videos sent to me on Instagram and on email, people telling me, I followed your lesson and my, my string sounds wrong, my ukulele sounds wrong. And they're lying to me because they didn't follow my lesson. My lesson, I always tell you guys to nail into the fretboard. So don't have the thumb over here because the thumb will make this space in here that much smaller. But if you put the thumb on the back, look at how that opens up the hand. So I tell my elementary students to think of this as a house for a mouse and keep your mouse safe. Don't squish your mouse. Make the house for the mouse and don't touch any of the other strings. Okay, now you're gonna squeeze and strum. 
relax the hand. Okay, put the thumb on the back. Open hand. Use the very tip of your finger and squeeze. Try again. So your homework is to memorize those chords. And let me throw one more in just because it's an honorable mention. No fingers, nothing. Just hold the uke right here. This is A minor 7. Yes, this is a chord too. So that's a good one to know. So let's review, okay? When we review something, we remember it much better. So let's review. We've got C. C major 7. C7. Now get ready, A minor. Get ready, open the hand. Do not give me a flat finger. Tip. And just for fun, hold the uke over here with this hand like this. Make sure you're not touching a string, but keep your hand curved so that it looks nice. That's A minor 7. Your homework for today is to memorize these chords and test yourself. See if you can remember what is C7, what is A minor 7. Test yourself so that you can kind of remember them in a better way. If you enjoyed this lesson, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That way you can continue learning. Turn on notifications so that way you'll know when I post a new video. Alrighty, I will see you in the next one.